Hi everybody, this is Jean-Charles Compagnon with the Kiwi Apps. I want to show you quickly, uh, make a quick video to uh, help somebody in the Facebook forum and hopefully this is going to help some other people on how to create uh, a www dot whatever it, it is that you want dot com to redirect to your eBay store. So, um, so I'm going to show you how to do that quickly. I'm using uh, GoDaddy here, uh, but you can use pretty much everything. They all have a function. It might be called a little bit different, but they all all of the uh, domain providers have a, a function to redirect or to forward URLs. So the first thing you need to do is to buy a domain name. Uh, the domain name can be whatever you want dot com or whatever you don't want dot com or whatever you want to call it dot com dot net dot whatever you want so do that go ahead and purchase a domain name once you've purchased a domain name they will show up in your domain name uh, history you can see here that I have a couple of domain name that I use uh, let me try to go back to a, a basic screen. I'm using M Design Domain here, but it's really a GoDaddy reseller. But in every single one of them, there will be domain name management somewhere. Uh, so let's see if I click domain name, my domain names. Here I get domain names. If I click on it, I will get a different view here. But really, it's the same thing. What you're going to want to look for is forward or uh, forwarding of a domain. In this case, if you use forward domain, it will take everything for this domain name, which is jcdust.com, which is what I use for my store. It will take everything jcdust. So it could be www.jcdust.com, it could be www and the kitchen sink dot jcdust.com or whatever dot jcdust.com pretty much anything dot jcdust.com and send it to a place so like in this case I'm, uh, I'm gonna redirect to my uh, eBay store and I'm gonna remove the HTTP column slash slash that's already in it and I'm gonna say update my DNS. I'm not gonna do that because this is gonna screw up pretty much everything that I have already set up with my domain. But if you do a preview, here is when you go to jcdust.com or whatever dot jcdust.com or whatever dot whatever dot whatever, it will go to my eBay store. Now I'm not gonna add this one because I use my domain name for some other things. However, what you can do if you do not want to forward your whole domain name is you can forward subdomain. Subdomain would be uh, something that you create before. So for example, um, here let me go quickly to uh, to my kids middle school and explain to you a little bit. Dot US is the extension like you have dot com. Dot MN is the domain dot k12 is a subdomain dot edina is a subdomain and south view is the um, what would be www so in short by creating here something like www.jcdus and forwarding it to uh, this domain name now everything that I would that would be www.jcdust.com would go to my eBay store. So let's do a preview for that. And it's previewing and it would go to my store. So let's add that just for the heck of it. Now let's add another subdomain and for example um, let's see I have a, a wig that I want to put on sale that has a very long URL it's an eBay item and I'm gonna call it sale or super item super super sale wow how about that so if somebody goes to super sale.jcdust.com I'm gonna copy this link from eBay that's the link to one of my item and so if somebody goes to super sale dot jcdust.com it will now go to www.ebay slash item slash blah, blah, blah and all of that 
And if I preview it, you can see that it would go to my item. Hopefully, this is not going to make me lie. And there you go. So this way, by using subdomains, you could make links point to some different things. So now, let's add this one. And let's say, for example, that I want people to go to my Facebook page. So then I would create facebook.jcdust.com. And let's see. Let me go on this other window to Facebook so I can get the link to my page. And uh, da -da -da, let's look at it. JC Dust. Here, this is my page. So I'm going to copy the link right here. And so now, when people would go to facebook.jcdust.com, they would go to my Facebook page directly. You can create, for example, with GoDaddy, you have up on 255, I think, forwards. Uh, I'll see it in the next screen. Come on, come on. It's running, it's running, it's trying to find it. Come on, you can do it. Facebook slash eBay JC does. I wonder if it's because of the pound and the exclamation point that it doesn't like it. So let's just go to this one. Okay, come on, come on, you can do it. Let's just add it. Alright, it's validating, it's making sure it's good. Come on. Come on, go daddy. Go daddy, go. Go daddy, go daddy, go daddy, go. Alright, let's cancel this one. Ah, it doesn't want to cancel anything. Let's just refresh. And refresh doesn't work. Ah, come on. I broke GoDaddy. GoDaddy is broken. Let's go back to my GoDaddy account. Domain, domain names that I just broke. Ah, GoDaddy must be having uh, some issues right now. Let's give it a little minute. It reminds you of something. It's the eBay music on hold. I have it in, in my head. I called eBay earlier. Uh, this is driving me crazy. Come on. Why isn't this working? This is driving me crazy. Domain names. Uh. All right, so now it came back. So let's click again on my domain name and let's look at those forwards. I don't know why it took forever. Uh, forwards of subdomains. And I guess it didn't take the Facebook. So let me try to show you again. Facebook. And uh, let's see. Let's copy the URL. Facebook JC does. Oh, I bet it's because of the HTTPS instead. HTTPS. Facebook's once secure. Oop, I submitted it. Let me go back to it edit so that I can show you the preview. Yeah, it was the HTTPS that totally screwed up Facebook or oh, GoDaddy. And it goes to Facebook, which obviously is not logged in because nobody is logged in. But it would go, if you would go uh, and copy this, it would definitely go to our Facebook page directly. There you go. So now, those redirect takes about usually up to four hours to update on the internet uh, to create new things. But you can see how you can easily, uh, here, create Facebook, Supercell.jcdust, www.jcdust. Uh, we could create, here, let me go back to my store, and 
Um, let's see. Create my store and um, for example, I have a category for black wig. So then I could call this black wigs. Or ww oh let's do that www.blackwigs.jcdas.com would go to my store and I just copied that from my store which is JCDAS black wig and let's see the preview. So now you can't really see it down there, but it's it goes to my black wig category. So www.blackwigs dot jcdas dot com goes there. Let's look at uh, how about a yellow one? Yeah, let's do a yellow category. So now I would want www dot yellowwigs dot jcdas dot com to go to my store category that I just copy paste that is for yellow wigs. And let's see if it works. Baboom, you just get uh, my yellow wigs and you press OK. So obviously I'm not going to save because I don't want to screw up my thing, but you can see that you can have up to 100, 252 of those redirect here. And you can be very creative. You could have your uh, WW, you could have your Pinterest, your Facebook, your Twitter, uh, and it would go to different places. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that, but I'm going to show you quick uh, some of them that I have set up for me for the Kiwi apps. So for example, if you go to www.kiwiapps, you go to our website. Now if you go to Facebook, yeah, let me remove the HTTPS and copy it so I can reuse If you click Facebook, boom, it goes to our Facebook page. You see how it went and redirected the whole thing here? Now, let's say that I want to go to my YouTube channel, youtube.kiwiapps.com, where this video is going to be. And then, boom, you see how it redirects it? And boom, we're in the Kiwi YouTube channel. You can use that to redirect to pretty much anything and everything. And again, um, I use mDesign domains, which is basically uh, a reseller account of GoDaddy. But you can use GoDaddy, you can use uh, Network Solution. They all have, um, let's see, Network Solution. Okay, so let's try Network Solutions dot com and uh, let's see what is it called forwarding for forwarding a domain or subdomain come on come on network solution come on ah boy the internet is slow oh there maybe I didn't click hard hard enough you have to click hard on the internet how can forwarding domain help your business? No. How can I purchase domain forwarding? Purchase web forwarding at an existing domain name. Blah. Well, then don't use network solution. GoDaddy is free. And see here, they, they show it to you. Log into the select account. Continue with web forwarding. There's a web forwarding in every single one of them. Some of them you might have to pay. I know GoDaddy is free. So hopefully that helps some of you. Uh, register to our channel, subscribe, send us some comments, and uh, try the Kiwi apps. You should try. Oh, actually, let me show you that great one. Like if you go to, instead of Facebook, you go to, for example, Key Feedback. And boom, it gets you right into the Key Feedback app. Love it. If you would go to, for example, um, key quantity, if you're not, lo well, I'm logged in, so it goes to it. How about key terminator? Maybe I didn't use key terminator. 
today. Boom, no, it goes to it too. They all, how about key tracking? You can get directly to our apps, right, like that. Hope this helps some of you. Um, subscribe and send us some questions. Thank you.